Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 27th, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you, so this reading may not be for you at all. So what do we have for a message today? Through three of swords. Three of swords is heartache, suffering, pain, separation. It is. So somebody may be suffering over a separation. This hurts, it's heartache. There's this is definitely heartbreaking. So there's some sort of suffering here. Two more cards fell out. King of Pentacles reversed and the Two of Swords. So we have somebody here that is definitely struggling with that Two of Swords. They've been struggling with a decision. They've been torn in two different directions. They've been uh, hearing all kinds of things in their head, you know. It's like, oh, you should do this. No, you should do this. No. You know, it's like they've, they've really been struggling with a decision that they need to make. It's been overwhelming. Uh, King of Pentacles reversed is typically very stubborn. Uh... Very focused on money, stability, overly excessive, maybe very materialistic. We may have somebody here that is excessively focused on their money, their job, their business, whatever. They're not really focused on a relationship. Um, now they're struggling with some sort of choice because the Two of Swords is a choice. This is a painful choice. They're, they're being haunted by some sort of choice. It's like, oh my God, this is absolutely overwhelming. Okay, it is. Uh, their, their their thoughts are overwhelming and there's heartache here we, and, and you know in this card it's, it's, it's like we may have a third party situation here we may have somebody here that is thinking about another I don't know it looks like it I don't know if there's a lover here or what <clears throat> but it doesn't have to be there's this is definitely heartache um, king of pentacles reversed <clears throat> struggling with being practical being real Delaying, there's indecision here. Uh, lack of, there could be lack of common sense. Uh, really, really hearing all kinds of messages from every direction. It's like, what should I do? We have somebody here that is very much struggling with a choice. They are. King of Pentacles reversed is somebody that typically doesn't want a relationship, very focused on their money, their stability, you know? Um, what should I do? I mean, what should I do? That's what that Two of Swords is. What should I do? It's like, this is painful. It is definitely painful. It's a painful choice. What is the, what is the most practical thing to do here? Should I play it safe or should I, you know... I make a different choice. Should I go down another path? Now I've got the hermit reverse. That is a midlife crisis. We may have somebody here that is being they're very lonely. They're feeling very lonely. They could be in a situation where they're they're not getting taken care of. I mean, the, the hero font reverse is lonely. It's lonely, extremely lonely. Now they may be giving deep thought to a partnership where they're not. It feels like they're not being taken care of. Uh, hermit reverse, wanting to connect, wanting something more. We have somebody here that wants something more. They're going through a midlife crisis right now. They're definitely thinking about it a lot, a lot. And it's the struggle is real. But there's a lack of practicality here with the King of Pentacles reverse. It's somebody not being practical, you know? They need, so we have somebody here that, um, doesn't want to be alone and they, it feels like they're in a partnership. Sometimes, you know, with people when they're, they stay in partnerships just for that codependency reason, but it's lonely. You might as well be alone. So it's like, we, we got somebody here that is in a partnership where they're lonely. There's no, they're alone, you know? Suffering, suffering over a loss, suffering over a separation, thinking about another option. But that three of three, we have somebody here that is really, really thinking, and they're in some sort of pain. 
over a, over a loss of some sort. Maybe they're losing something stable, something solid, something real because they can't make a choice. What is this to then? Yeah. Knight of Cups reverse. That is <sighs> fear of commitment, not really committed. Somebody is in a relationship, definitely, where there's unrequited love. It's one sided. And they need, and it's time for a change. This Two of Pentacles is a realignment. That is a, that, this is a geometric power that is realigning somebody, you know, uh, to receive balance, to receive something that is going to bring them balance. But there's a need to be flexible. And this is like another card of choice. So we have somebody here that has two options. They've probably been juggling two options. They're extremely stressed out with the choice they have to make. They're in some sort of relationship with the Knight of Cups reverse that is unrequited love. Okay, it's one-sidedness. There's loneliness here. If you have to be in a relationship where you're not being taken care of, you're not being loved, you know, it's one-sided, then you need to be practical. Okay, you got to be practical here. If you're holding on just for safety reasons or material materialistic reasons, and that's that's sad. Oh, and the hermit reverse is sadness. It is lonely, sad and lonely, and struggling, struggling with a choice. Knight of Cups reversed is upset, emotionally upset. We got somebody here who's emotionally upset, or they're gonna be. There could be the we could have we could have a separation of a relationship with the three of swords and the knight of cups reversed and somebody's deciding to be alone. They've been thinking about being alone. They're lonely anyway. You know, there's loneliness here. Absolutely. Somebody may be afraid of commitment, you know. They need to make a choice. Do I want to be alone or do I want a commitment? Do I want a relationship? That could be the situation here as well. There's a need to, you know, we got the King of Pentacles in reverse to somebody that doesn't really focus on a relationship. You know, I'm going to focus on my money. I'm going to focus on my job. I'm going to focus on my things. I'm going to focus on everything but a relationship. But it looks like there could be a relationship here with the Knight of Cups, upright or reversed. Definitely have somebody here that is suffering, okay? They're feeling it in their heart, okay? Their heart is feeling some sort of... <laughs> Strong emotion, okay? And it feels like it hurts. Ace of Swords reverse. That's no communication. Lack of commitment or lack... Well, there we go. I said lack of commitment. But it's lack of communication. It's lack of truth. It's a loss of power. Somebody may be being dishonest with themselves. Lack of clarity in a dark place, not communicating in some sort of pain. We got somebody here that's in pain, not waking up, refusing to wake up with the Ace of Swords reversed, not seeing clearly underneath Three of Swords. We definitely have somebody here that is suffering over a partnership with the Two of Swords. They are not communicating effectively or they're not communicating at all. They're burying themselves in their work by the looks of things. There's loneliness here. Struggling over whether I want a relationship or I want to be alone. Ten of Swords reversed. Ten of Swords reversed is extreme pain. Extremely painful. It is. breaking free though it's also liberation somebody is being brought to their knees it feels like this is rock bottom it is the ten of swords reversed extremely extremely painful we have somebody here who is i don't know if they're doing something they're doing something and it's the straw that breaks the camel's back because the ten of swords in reverse this is like some sort of betrayal, some sort of betrayal or some sort of painful situation. 
that has been ongoing. Somebody has been suffering for some time, but it is coming to an end because we do have a separation here. We do. Ace of Swords severs ties. So there is a separation that is coming. It is painful. There's not, there's, there's not, somebody's, I feel like there's going to be a separate, a breakup or something. I don't know. Um, if not, this is like, could be a death. I mean, Ten of Swords, I mean, that's the end of a situation. Extremely painful ending, you know. Shutting down, shutting down communication. Somebody is shutting down communication or they're not seeing clearly. <sighs> the fool. The fool is starting over from scratch. This is uh, taking a leap of faith, stepping into unknown territory, taking a risk. Somebody is about to take a risk. My stomach, I had nothing to eat today. I don't even know what time it is. Seven o'clock at night, not anything. Uh, anyhow, um, the fool. The fool starting over from scratch, leaving it all behind. Somebody is deciding to start a new journey. They're struggling though with the choice. They are struggling with the choice. This is a big, big decision. So anyway, the fool is making an impulsive move, doing something, taking a risk, stepping into, you know, that uncharted territory. This is an exciting new beginning here. Somebody may also be reconnecting or socializing, coming out of hiding. They were struggling with a decision. They were struggling with a relationship. Maybe there's a breakup now. Or they're making a choice to separate even though it hurts. There, I feel like there is some sort of, it's very emotional. It's very, it's extremely emotional. But the fool is a new beginning. It is, it is, <laughs> if you hear any noises, it's, it's my stomach. I do apologize. Uh, the fool is uh, the beginning of a new journey. Starting from starting from scratch. It's a fresh start. We do have a fresh start here We have somebody here that is, is going to be making a cut. It's like they're cutting something out They're all done thinking I feel like we have this person that has been struggling They've been thinking 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 they haven't been practical. They probably haven't been in a solid situation where, where there's stability or commitment or whatever. That, that King of Pentacles reverse. Somebody may have been dealing with somebody who's not really wanting a commitment. Or they don't really, or they're only in it for the money. Anyhow, the fool is, is, is leaving it all behind, starting on a new chapter. This is a brand new beginning here. So we do have a new beginning here. And, and next to the hermit reverses, that's like the end of loneliness, right? Coming out of a lonely period where there's been a lot of struggle by the looks of things. You may have somebody here that's been waiting for a relationship. They've been held back by fear. We, we do have somebody here that's been held back by fear. Fear of maybe falling in love or opening their heart with the Knight of Cups reversed. Blocking, blocking their feelings with the Two of Swords, with the Knight of Cups reversed. Somebody's been blocking their feelings, ignoring them. Not seeing clearly or they've been in a state of, I don't know what I want. The Ace of Swords reversed, that's a lack of clarity and they've been really suffering with whatever this choice is two is a choice it's a decision you can choose to block your emotions and lose a golden opportunity with the king of pentacles reverse because it will slip away if you don't uh take a risk or you can choose to take a risk and grab on it's interesting it's interesting because it's just like this or it's just like this you can you can choose to take a risk and grab on to that opportunity before it slips away right because you can't fight gravity. You can't. I mean, you obviously, if you're not grabbing on to the opportunity, if this doesn't go on, the opportunity will slip away. We talk about this. It will. 
so this is like grab this the landed just like this you see it's just like grabbing it okay i'm gonna take it i'm gonna take somebody is taking an opportunity they are they're taking an opportunity that i don't know it feels like somebody else didn't want right stepping into unknown territory I'm gonna do it this is this is risky right the fool is takes risks this is somebody that is ready to take a risk I'm gonna do it I'm leaving that shit behind I don't care I'm doing it I'm doing it three of wands get prepared for an arrival something that somebody has been waiting they've been waiting for something it's it's coming or it has already arrived something may have arrived Getting prepared. Get prepared. Get prepared right now. So you better start getting prepared. You know, whatever it is, start getting things in order because there's going to be an arrival. If you're alone, you probably aren't going to be lonely much longer because it's right next to the hermit reverse. That's the end of loneliness. This is coming out. It's coming out of that, that, that hiding, coming out of that thinking period, coming out of isolation. It's opening up. Mm, making a decision definitely with that two of swords a painful stressful one by the way has to do with a relationship has to do with love get ready you better get ready because something is arriving suddenly the fool is very sudden it is very there's going to be a sudden arrival so you better be prepared Or a sudden departure, but it feels like it's a sudden arrival. Three of Swords is a separation. Somebody is separating. They are they are separating from some something that has been hurting them. It's been causing them a lot of suffering, causing them a lot of pain. They weren't being practical. They were holding on to it because it was safe. But they're going to be shutting down. They are. They're going to be shutting down the communication or something like that. Something is happening with that Ace of Swords reverse. This lack of clarity, dishonesty, not telling the truth. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. They haven't been communicating the truth. They're in some sort of pain. There could be. There's definitely some heart with the Three of Swords. It's like hurt, hurt, pain in the heart. The moon reverse. This is a reality check. It's also a release of fear. Truths being revealed. Could also be dealing with Pisces or Cancer. We also have Aries. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo. I said Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have everybody. It doesn't really matter. But we also have uh, seeing things clearly after being confused. Somebody ha And something has been hidden for sure. Something that somebody has been hiding something, they are about to reveal the truth, which causes some sort of new beginning because of that fool card. There's something that is about to be revealed. Somebody has been hiding something. Maybe it's a relationship with the Knight of Cups reversed. Maybe they've been flirting with somebody. Knight of Cups reversed next to the Moon card. They've, they've been in an unrequited love situation. Somebody's been in an unrequited love situation. And they've been thinking about getting out of it. And it feels like they've been rejected. They've been rejected by a partner that doesn't really want commitment. Anyhow, there's a release of fear here. We have a reality check and truths that are about to be revealed. Something is about to come to light. Clarity. Magician. 
Yes could also be dealing with a Gemini. This is a yes answer. This is what you asked for. As above, so below. Doing something. We have somebody here that is about to find their resources, their strength, their courage, their confidence, their willpower, their um, ability to master their emotions, to tell the truth, to be honest with themselves, to open up, to do whatever it takes to bring success. So we do have somebody here that is about to do something. They are about. This is somebody that is divinely uh, has a divine connection to source. Um, this is uh, a wake up call. Somebody is waking up. This is an awakening. That is somebody is about to receive some sort of clarity, some sort of truth or information or whatever it is that gives them the ability to do whatever it is they have to do to have success in their lives. Somebody's about to get what they asked for. They're about to do whatever it takes to create success. This is a creator. The magician is, is a creator. This is somebody that believes in a higher power, that believes that they can succeed. This is also somebody that is willing to shed the old, to bring in the new, to have it all, right? This is somebody that uh, believes in themselves, that believes that they can have it all and that they can do it. So we do have somebody here that is about to take action. This is a card of action. They're about to do something. It feels like they, they've already done their homework. You know, they've already done their homework. They've already done, they already know what they got to do and they're about to do it. Yes, this is what you asked for. That may be the clarity that they received. This is what you asked for. Go for it. The fool card is go for it. Don't let fear hold you back. Somebody has been very scared. They've been held back by fear, probably by another partnership as well. Or if it wasn't a partnership, could it be fear of commitment, fear of being in a relationship, fear of falling in love, fear of opening the heart, fear of, fear of expressing emotions. But this is a release of fear, taking action, coming up with a plan. You may have somebody here that has been coming up with a plan. Maybe they've talked to somebody else and somebody has told them to do it. Just do it. We have somebody, I've shuffled in this car, has come up twice. So this is somebody that has been overwhelmed, okay? They've had a lot of responsibilities. They have worked hard towards success and they've reached a point where they may need some help or they need to uh, relax. You know, it's time to relax. It's time to uh, distribute some of the responsibilities elsewhere. I feel like we have somebody here that has been overwhelmed with all the struggles of life or whatever and they've overcome it they've overcome it really well but this has been heavy it's been really 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 heavy and I feel like it's it's time to let go let go of something to have a little bit of enjoyment you know it's time to relax it's time to you know stop going overboard or stop doing it all or whatever the case is we have somebody here that is taking a new opportunity with the Four of Cups. They weren't interested or they were missing an opportunity or they ignored it in the past. This is taking it now. So we do have somebody here that is, is now interested. They are interested in something else. They were focusing on something that was emotionally unfulfilling. You know, ignoring an opportunity for love with the Four of Cups reversed. But now they're taking it. It's like, you know what? I, I mean... I should just take it. I should just take this opportunity. I should, you know. Interested in it. That's it. That's interested. I want it. I do want it. Ah, oh, the sun card is also a yes card. So this is a yes. This is a rebirth. This is happiness. This is a new day. It is a breakthrough. It's, it is uh, a turning point. This is seeing the light. This is clarity. Um, this is a new beginning. This is freedom as well. Somebody is breaking free from some sort of darkness. They're seeing the light. They really are. Same, same with the Hermit Reverse. Somebody is seeing the light. It's almost like a light bulb moment. This is what I asked for. Yes, this is what I want. 
This is definitely a new beginning here that leads to happiness. Taking action. We have action that is about to be taken. Somebody has been hiding. They've been hiding themselves or hiding their feelings or something like that. Protecting themselves maybe. I also feel like we have another person here that has been hiding some information. They've been keeping it to themselves and they're about to reveal it. There's going to be something that is revealed about a relationship. Starting over, starting over from scratch, stepping into unknown territory. Get prepared for a new beginning. This is a breakthrough. This is what you asked for. You asked for this. We, we could have a breakup here. Oh boy. Unexpected choice in love, the lovers. So this is a soulmate connection. Kindred spirits, shared values. Unexpected opportunity for a partnership that is very well suited. This is a perfect match. A choice is being made. So, get prepared. Get prepared. Because we have an individual here that is about to do whatever it takes. This is somebody that is replacing their fear with faith and stepping into unknown territory. After it feels like they've been extremely scared. This is like a release of fear. Good luck.